Welcome to this video. I'm Chris and this is a presentation about the mounting of a panel in uh, UD11, which is a comic book. And we're going to use Photoshop and we're going to uh, modify this panel here with a this is this is one of the old designs so we're going to um, change the typeface we're going to change the balloon design and we're going to change the frame so that's the project for this um, for this video and we're going to do that in two steps we can say one step is to uh, leave this uh, document and go to um, adjustment documents so we will have one adjustment document for the frame and one for the um, lettering and uh, the balloon will also be adjusted in the frame document so we're going to first do those three things and then we are going to actually uh, return back to to this document with with the finished panel to paste and adjust everything so it looks nice okay so the question is what is UD11 it's a it's a comic book uh, in a series and it is a part um, it's, it's a this comic book here is it's a part of an eight part series so so you're looking at season one of Unlimited Danger. So the umbrella name is Unlimited Danger. And this particular episode, episode one, is called 987 degrees centigrade. And this is a printed comic book project. So it's not going to be an online edition or anything like that. So, we're, and we we're also uh, hoping that um, the science fiction action thriller kind of genre is is um, likable or is is attractive for many of those who like comic books. All right, so this is the. This is the project then, Unlimited Danger Season 1, Episode 1, 987 degrees centigrade. All right. So back to our task at hand. And now we are going to, uh, we're going to actually shut this window down. And just uh, for now and we are going to return to the scanned documents that I did before this video started just to have them handy so we have three documents here one with the balloons, one with the text, and one with the frames. So we're going to fix these up so that they can be nicely pasted into the final document. 
So let's see, first we are going to not sure why this happened actually. I'm I was when I was scanning, but let's see, we I'm going to get some There they come, all right. Made some mistakes. Always do that. Okay, so this is number two, this is number one. Title one, untitled two, and untitled three. Where are those? Okay. And this is the, just a regular one. So this is number, this is the actual unfinished panel. Okay, so now we're just looking for number three, and that is to so get it its own window. Okay, now let's see. So now let us just hide those for for now, and and now what I want to do is I want to select. So let's start with the frames. I want to select. Okay, that's. I want these up there. Instead, and I want to have this there. All right, so that's better. Uh, now I want. I want to select the best one of these frames and as you see here I made when I actually drew them on the uh, light table I saw some imperfections in this A here so I didn't identify that one as the best one so so B was better, so therefore I made a red mark here, red little dot. So let's just look at the line quality here. If is this the good enough? There is some imperfection down there to the bottom right. And there is something there bottom left and uh, so I think that in terms of straightness and I think we'll, we'll, we'll settle for the the B variant here okay I'm zooming out with control minus now and I'm pressing M for marquee tool and then I'm just cutting it out. I will be doing that like that. And I haven't actually cut it out yet because I have to have we have to open a new document to perform the editing in. Okay, so I will um, we have a, I have on the other screen here. I have to to um, documents template documents I can use, and I am going to do that. So I'm just so I can show you this here. I'm just so just. Uh, pasted a new frames adjusting frames document from my from my repository or how you want to put it and then I just double click it so we okay so like that all right, so now I have a document here with uh, some 
folders here and uh, the idea is that what I want to do is I want to paste these are old ones down here it's an old frame and an old balloon which we don't need anymore but I'm using these just as a um, holder for the text so whenever I paste the new frame for instance I paste it above and then I just copy copy the um, uh, text so I don't have to type it in every time okay so let's do that now so let's just okay I copy the frame and note also here that it's the B not the A but the B so I, I keep track of these things so okay so I, I put my selection at the frame and I press Control V for paste and I immediately copy this text here and I add the letter B frame B okay and then I put my selection there and I press delete and now it didn't work because uh, I didn't have the um, move tool selected so now I select the move tool with the V on the, the V key V key and then I press delete again so all right so that's done and now we can also and once having done that I don't need this document anymore and I don't want to save it because I've saved the original scan before so this is just a intermediate one okay and now I want to open untitled 2 which is the balloon and as you see here I've already selected selected number A here or number A but <laughs> uh, item A balloon A I think that's pretty okay Let's see well yeah, I, th I think maybe maybe A or maybe B but no I, I'll, I'll actually we'll just go with it my pre-selection here so okay so copy and I put the selection my, my select layer at my old balloon and then I paste the new balloon copy the text with control C and control V and I add balloon a here and then I just delete it oh move tool delete okay so that's the so now I have and now I can now I can uh, get rid of that and we can z zoom in here on Control plus plus plus. Um, let's see, what we have. Okay, let's see. We, uh, just to remove as much as possible. Do we have it? Did we succeed or not? modified objects okay so we have something there so that's the frame and then we have the balloon there right okay so now I lock these I have f9 as a shortcut here so f9 f9 lock and I copy by a alt K 
key keep all alt key down and drag upwards so adjusted frame will have uh, go up there and the balloon will go up there and then I will so modify it here in some way mod mod and then we unlock these ones by F10 on my keyboard all right so so now we we can get rid of these guys because we don't want them to do anything at all with those at least not now maybe we can revert later and like that but for now we just want to uh, work with these copies here okay so now we want to do some things and what we want to do with the frame is that we want to make sure that it's not only square but it, that it is uh, aligned perfectly um, perfectly straight how should I put it so because you could imagine that you had well let's say that this is a perfect square but this is also a perfect square so 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 you don't want to do that so what you want is to make the horizontal lines actually horizontal and the vertical lines perfectly vertical and by using these guides here that I've developed I can um, we can we can do that we can uh, quickly adjust the uh, the angle of the of the of the lines so I just put them approximately a little bit outside there and I I select the frame itself and I can so we have to get a feel for how how they actually look so so it looks like by this space here and this space here it looks like we want to and the same on this side smaller space here bigger here so so it looks like we should rotate to the right up up like that so let's do that try to find a reasonable uh, average you can see let's commit this to see what it looks like let's see well it doesn't look that bad and also remember that we're not looking for super perfection here because the, the whole idea about drawing uh, by hand on paper as opposed to using Photoshop to make all the, the panel frames is that we want a little imperfection so that is one of the um, 
ideas that, that I'm fond of. But of course, the imperfection must not be too big. So it it has to. You, you just have to get a feeling that it's not made on the computer. That is my. That is my idea. Something like that. All right. So I think that's pretty good. And. Um, the problem is just that this, if I show you this here, I think this is too much. Uh, the, the line here is leaning too much up. So I'm not so fond of that. So maybe we can just, so let's, Let's take a, let's cut it up, or not cut it, but co copy, control, copy, paste. And let's see, we make it um, uh, fifty percent opacity and move tool. And let's see, so I'm um, so what I want is, and now I'm just, let's see if I can bigger scale here. Let's, let's do like this temporarily, just to, um, okay, where or do we have, okay, so we're there. And let's just, get our bearings right. Let's is that too much? Okay, maybe okay I'll I'll do it again without note that I took away the the real one. I I just want to make this as parallel as possible here. But sometimes in Photoshop it's hard to see wi without committing. So the best thing to do is to commit and, so, and if it doesn't look good then we can always use command Z. So that's what I'm doing here. Maybe something like this. That's too much. Okay, well, let's. Mm. No, that's too. Okay. Let's. What about that? Should we say that's good? No. <laughs> uh. Uh -huh. What about that? Okay, so let's take it there. All right, and um, so what I want to do now is to actually use this scale layer. And make sure that that and I'll make a new copy of this just in case that and I'll and I'll just remove the very top here
like that. So hopefully it will be a nice synthesis. Okay, so I think that is not so shabby. <clears throat> All right, so we have that and that, and then, okay, so we can say a new top here, right? Frame B, cut away top, and now we select both of these and we do Control Alt E to merge th those two together. And I take away those invisible, I make those invisible and we only see, we only have one here now. Okay, so when we now, when we look at these together if we if we uh, I'm, I'm now using shift shift right arrow but it doesn't work why is that because I probably have a selection somewhere. So I'm control D, control D for deselect. And then I do, it still doesn't work. What is going on? Okay. Hmm, that is strange. Okay, we do it again. Move tool. Okay, control plus. And so it's approximate. Um, move the other one, shift left arrow here. And then, of course, we take away the original there. Okay, so this is not so bad. And then I do Z for the zoom tool. And I draw on a rectangle around the area where I want to edit. And then I do the P key to get the oh well I re oh I reprogrammed it okay anyway uh, okay I got the wrong one <laughs> but I'll do it like this instead so I'll do the pencil tool here and I'll select I press D the D key to reset the tool uh, the colors at and then X to get the white one. And then we just... Okay, so I did that on the wrong layer. So I... And what we want is... We want to do it on the... Um, new frame. That's the new frame. And so it's here. We want to remove a little bit. We can do a little more here. Okay, and we do the pencil again. Like that. like that little little imperfections there uh, 
and a little clumpy there. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I think we have a frame and now I press Alt key and I click on the visibility here and then I got, get the solo. I get the solo layer here with the new frame. Only that layer and all others are hidden. So this is what I'm working on now. So I just want to see that we did, did, oh, oh, we made a mistake. Okay, what is the mistake? The mistake was that I merged, you, maybe you can see this here. I merged the new top as it was. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you what I mean. The new top as it was looks like this. But if you read up here, the opacity is 50%. So I merged that with frame B, which was 100%. So the, the top became um, became um, uh, grayish. So I, I have to do that again, but now I've edited it. So new frame. Um, so retouched. Um, but okay, so what, what do we do? Well, I think the best thing to do is just temporarily move that up. And 100% here, okay. And now we merge those two again. So it's uh, Control Alt E here. New um, frame two, right? So now it's black and nice. Okay. So that's our one thing. Another thing we have to do is we have to vacuum it. We have to vacuum to get to get to remove all the um, scanning. Um, well, it could be dust particles and scratches here and there and stuff on the paper I, I drew on and all that. So our mission now is to just get the pen tool and uh, maybe I want a just a little bigger brush. And to see here, maybe we should have a little bit bigger even. If we have any. And it doesn't matter what. Just take a hundred. And then we um, I'm still having the pencil tool selected, as you can see up here and to the left. And so now I just want to see where. So I'm scanning here, I'm holding down and just wiping over. I'm scanning like like this. We have some dots here. And the best thing I do is to use the H hand, the hand tool to move the the whole page a little bit to easier locate the um, the dust particle. So here for instance I've we found another one. So now I'm using my my left index finger to press P 
um, to get the pencil tool and I'm clicking down to paint with it and then back again to the hand tool with my small smallest finger okay that way I can pretty quickly oh here's a big one so there's a lot of a lot of small stuff here and I'll think that if we have something like that I think that's pretty good and then we can have if it was always perhaps this is on my screen I have some <laughs> I have something on my screen that looks like dust but all right so I think that's a good session and um, for the frames or for the frame in singular and we can always cut this out here to marquee tool here we just just if we want that it's just so okay and now we document it new frame two we have vacuumed we have vacuumed it okay good so now it's ready for export or import to our final panel okay so let's move on to the balloon so I'm going to do approximately the same thing here and so we have the A1 here and we can start with making a little less white space here so that we need to vacuum less later on so I think this is uh, basically a pretty good size and we can actually do this since we're it's not so much to vacuum here Fortunately, there's a little, but I think this is pretty good. Okay, so let's all right. So we have vacuumed, and now we're going to and we're going to see if it's actually horizontal or not so we just engage these uh, I'm zooming out control minus minus and I am selecting the balloon and I'm V for move tool and I usually take the one above here so we can I think that's pretty good maybe a little but I think that's pretty pretty decent okay I think that's good enough so then basically this one is also finished And that means we are um, we are done with the whole adjusting frames document. So now let's let's just um, do the export so so we can so we can um, close it okay so let's do that then we have the balloon 
balloon A and I'm just using the marquee tool and I'm selecting all of that marquee tool and I'm using, I want back to the final panel or the finish panel sorry and the finish panel is now let's see we have finished panel here and we want a uh, we want some balloon okay balloon we want so we create a create a folder called balloon and we now paste into that and what did we have we had balloon A frames and it's not down scaled so now we want to create another layer because we want to downscale it to the correct and we also want to move it but we won't do that yet just yet we um but I, I know that's always what what we do so i'm preparing that for um later when we when we do that um okay and now we're going to create a new new frame here because the one here is the old one and this balloon in Texas is also the old one so but I will not remove those just yet either so I want to have them there but maybe we can we can just put them lower down so we get all the new ones um, together all right so now let's go back and grab the frame and let's new frame vacuumed that's the one we want solo by alt clicking the visibility here and of course we have to control d to deselect the selection and we want to make a new selection here like that so we copy copy that and we point at the other document and we are going to paste the new frame in the frame and we are going to call it I think it was the mm, frame B, wasn't it? I think it was frame B. Uh, let's see. Frame B, yeah, right. Frame B. And then we do the same thing. We duplicate by alt dragging. And then we rename it to downscale moved like that. So we have done that. So now in the new document, we can check how everything looks like by solo alt clicking here. So we see that compared to 
the old design um, or scale here is much larger so that's why we have to downscale okay but we'll return to that later in part two okay so now everything is I'm going to save it and I'm going to close it because we're done there so so the next our next mission the third and last thing is to I'm going to prepare her here um, for the text which we are going to paste there in a minute so we need to go to a text document let's see we have we have panel A1 here and we have the adjusting folder with the adjusting frames document but now we need a assembled text lines document also so we can assemble the text and we just have to rename it here to page 3 panel A1 and we double click on it and what we see now here is the actual lettering grid or the lettering guide I'm using for uh, when I'm at the light table so this is how um, how I'm lettering how I'm producing the text so now when I when we are using using the, um, the actual text that I produced at the light table um, everything is supposed to be when when pasted everything should line up pretty well with or pretty good with these lines here and you see here also that this is this is one line here and you have the baseline and you have the x height and you have the top top line there so so our mission now yeah, it's, yeah, just as in the case of the balloons and the frame that we want to we want to select the best um, specimens right the the best ones and this is not always so easy and to to do because they are to get the right feeling because there's uh, so many variants so many so I usually take it like per word so I'm looking looking at which word am I is is is, is the best is number 11 good or is number 12 better or what do you think so that's the question then but in my case i think there is something there's something to be said for what i want is not to this leaning forward i don't want this now i mean this is not this is supposed to be roman it's not italics so I have this tendency sometimes to to have a, uh, an angle here like here maybe five degrees or something I don't know if, uh, um, and I don't want that uh, so 
so I'm looking more. I think actually I, want, I would like to have this one here. I think it's pretty good. So I'll settle for this one, including the the comma here, and I'm pasting with Control V, and I'm pressing V button to for the move tool, and then I'm just dragging it up to where I want it. I usually put it on the first line. And then we want Franny. And here are some Okay, Franny, Franny, Franny. Hmm. So there's so. So one one problem is is the kerning, of course. So the best thing would be if I if I had a word here, Franny, where all the spaces had a or not the space well all the the distances between the letters were equal or not equal but perceived as equal which is a difference <laughs> um so for instance uh, so this here for instance is much too big so i I mean, I could use the whole word anyway and, and correct this later, but it's always better if we, I can just grab one which is um, has more equal distribution of of the letters, and then of course we we'll always have the issue of of that the letters themselves should be nice they should look nice so it's not entirely easy but let's see Hmm. Okay, so I think that the something like something like Eight, eight, or eight, or maybe even maybe even twelve. So it's also a matter of not only must all the letters be nicely formed, but they must be in the same scale also. So for, here, for instance, here the E is a little too big in my, in my uh, estimation, which is why I would like better this one. But the A here is not so good, so so let's see if I have a better
maybe maybe 11 is not so bad in terms of I think we'll go with 11 and then we can take the dots also there no it's a little okay they're a little uneven well, let's take Okay, so we have 11, Franny 11, okay. Oops, Franny 11. Um, oh, and that is okay. That was 13. And Franny, I'm pasting control V. Franny was line 11. Okay. Okay, Franny. Okay, and then we can take some nice dots. Where are the dots nice? Okay, here perhaps. Okay. Let's just take those five. Line five. Uh, okay, dots five. Okay, and now we just move those guys up. So I'm selecting both of them and V for the move tool and shift up arrow. Like that, so we can, something like that. And then I select only the dots and shift right arrow. So I get them out, shift down arrow, okay, like that, something like that. Okay, okay, Franny. And now we also have to have a little bigger distance here between the comma and Franny, okay, Franny, something like that. Okay, where are we? So, okay, Franny. So now the question is, oh, the question is, okay, let's save this first. The question is, how did I actually plan the lines to uh, for the balloon? How, how did I plan that? What is the my design, my detailed row? How does that look like? Okay, let's show you here what I did. Okay, so this is my design. So everything is planned. The only difference is that I used some double hyphens here or dashes to mark a, a longer space. Okay, Franny, just give us a minute or something like that. So, so and I didn't follow that when I, um, when I um, did the actual lettering. Um, so, because I thought this was better, but I, I'm I, I'm not so sure. So the question is, if I'm going to locate another hyphen, let's see. I'm looking 
doing here? Row B. Maybe row A. Oh, there is one. Okay, so. Oh no, it's the wrong one. Okay, uh, page two, perhaps. I have something. Page two. I'm not sure where it is. sure I would like to have some some hyphens but let's see if I have I have a whole backlog of texts that need to be scanned so maybe we can scan scan one of these I just can find some nice hyphen. Okay, here this is promising. Okay. Okay, here here's one. Yeah, let's, so we'll borrow a hyphen from panel C two. So let's scan it in. Let's import Canon Scanner. Okay, so we have the text here, and I can let's see, I'm going to save it. Three C two Control plus Control plus okay so control alt plus to get the window to um, right and so I want to save it and let's see we have page three Panel C2, page 3, C2, and what is this? We have a scan sheet letter there, but that's the old one. So we exchange old there, and then we have to do this because otherwise Windows won't recognize it. C letter, okay. Right, and all right, and now Shift F2 to get the uh, contrast and brightness fixed. And now I can quit that one and And here I have all my hyphens. Okay, so now we just pick um, some. Oh, I think this 13 looks pretty good. 13. Okay, let's do that. And let's skip those. 
so okay and hyphens 13 from page 3 panel c2 okay good now just delete it move to delete button and save it and now I just shift up arrow so we can get up there a little down arrow perhaps and then something like that and we have okay so now save this so far so far so good and that is done also we don't save that okay so now back to the so we've done the first line here to the left so now we just have to locate some good words here on the second line and um, what should we pick so I'm starting with with just here um, and I think one of the tricky ones always is the S what I don't want is that the S that this middle line here I can show you closer what I don't want is that this middle line here is is uh, so horizontal it shouldn't be so much it should be more like this so this is one criterion that I'm selecting for uh, to not have it like that so so in that sense number six is best or five is, is good enough uh, five and six but yes okay so five and six for the s but the problem here with both five and six is that the u is is too too wide so i'm doing like this so i'm i'm taking the s anyway because we it's so I'm cutting, I'm taking the S and I'm pasting it. And which one was it? What is it? Number six, yes, line six, S. S from line six. shift up arrow and we'll just put it here for now something okay and now we want the rest of the word I will probably okay so then, then we have leaning forward there this one's not so attractive
Hmm, okay. Okay, well, I think we take the T from, I think I, that's too much. I think we take, I think we take number 12 here. The T from 12, V to, move tool and and then we just have to have the j and the u it's probably take the four for the U here from four U four and the T uh, I'm not sure where. okay Huh. Oh. Like that. And the U and the V for the move tool. Shift up arrow and shift left arrow. And then a J, I'll take that one, number six. Number six. V for move tool and just get it up there somewhere. All right, so let's Right, to combine these together. And now, of course, we always have the J number six, I think it was. Right. Yep. Um, not too close, not too far away. Just okay. Now we want to give us give us all right. Give us. I think it, that one is not so bad. So number eight is not so bad, but maybe even. Even number five is better. Or, yeah, I think five is better. Okay, let's take give five. like that and then I'm uh, 
pressing the Alt button to remove. So I'm dragging, <clears throat> making another rectangle and removing uh, the bottom part of the G that is above on line 4. So I get a clean and now control C to copy and control V to paste and V tool for move tool approximate position what did we say was it number five okay give five um us and here we have that s again I have a tendency to do it too, too horizontal, as I said before. So the question is not really Hmm, not so good. So I think what I'll do this time is um, we'll take, we used number six for the S there, but I'll, I'll grab this S here instead. And we'll, so V for move tool, and then we'll use the, some U here. Maybe this one. Maybe, uh, number seven. Number seven. And V for move tool. And up here, somewhere. Okay save oh I forgot to you it's always forgetting u7 okay u7 and s five from the word just. So we didn't we didn't take it from the word us but from the word just. Um, give okay so right so us okay good and we'll find adjust these in a minute. We'll just want all the words to come in here. And here I made an italic A, <laughs> which wasn't very clever, but I realized it um, later. So. so I think we'll take I think we'll take uh, this A here, or maybe this one is better. 
Okay, I think we take this one, which is what? This is nine. Okay. Nine. A nine. A nine. V for move tool. And I'm just dragging it up. Releasing. I'm saving. And then we need the minute also here. Mm -hmm. Here we have some reason reasonable Let's see. minute. Okay. Probably the best one, for my purposes at least, is this one. So it's the same row as the A. So whatever that was. And of course, I'm moving the selection up now, just so I so I get and to the left with the left arrow and up arrow, so I get the right. I get a little space. And before I use Control C to copy it, and then Control V to paste it, and V for move tool, and then I just grab it and drag it wherever I like. Okay, so now our mission is to... So I'm saving it, and our mission is now to replicate this design here. So, so what I want is this text here should be centered so there should be space there and there should be space there so that's the general design so this should not be left lined and this should not be right lined it should be centered okay so that's the design we're going for and so that means that, okay, Franny, we should make this like this. And of course, this, this line number two here is much, uh, we have to create bigger spaces between the letters, so it, it will be approximately proportional to whatever we say we, we had in the detailed row. So it, it will actually look something like this. So, so we can see here by comparison that we have just uh, before OK comes. So just as a, a so there's a little space, half the space there, and then the OK starts on line one. So it's all right. So, but in general, we should we don't have to look at that. We just we just make it as nice as possible here by uh, by our optical perception and so I think 
the word just looks good and give also looks good so we let's move all those to the right just to make the space here and usually i'm thinking approximately like what what, what is what is a correct space in between the words well in my case I'm thinking approximately an E. That's what I'm shooting for. Approx maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but, but something like an E in width. Right. So the space, you could start with the spaces to just get the right separation that's an A, I don't remember which one it was but it's approximately right, maybe we could oh, wasn't it? no, it was minute, okay minute whatever line that was minute was the same as a all right exactly number nine right so a little more space there maybe something like that and then a little more there maybe and then oh whoops Okay, all of them. Not give, sorry. Oh. Us, that's what I wanted to do. Something like that. And we are now looking at a little bigger scale here. So let's look at the baseline and all that. If we have an approximate, I think that's approximately okay. And then give for the just and then give. We let's see, give that to go down a little bit, down arrow, something like that. Just give. The same with us Have to go down a little, something like that. And then the A is all right there, but I'm usually not so fond of, of this, that the stroke goes downwards so much. I think it's better to, if I let it be uh, finished up around here somewhere so i'm going to drag a copy down here to old just to just in case and and then i'm going to edit it with the pencil tool the pencil tool and i'm going to and now we had the big one so we don't want that Let's make a bit smaller one, maybe a nine or something. And and we're going to zoom in. So I'm pressing Z and I'm making a rectangle and releasing. And now we are there. And now I want to use my pencil tool again. And I'm going to and I have white selected already, so. So I'm going to try to something like I don't want any more than this something like that and and remember now that that if I were to draw this with a pen I uh, the pen is always round my pen my fountain pen is has a, always a round tip so so the 
so the stroke here should not be straight but it should have a round shape just like this this um, what do you call it icon for for the brush it's it's a roundish kind of so it fits there approximately right so let's zoom out by control minus to get an aid like that and I think that's good enough and then we can use zoom in again control plus to look at minute how that looks like and I think that's pretty good I think maybe V tool V for move tool and we can maybe take it down a little notch there I think that works something like that and maybe just to right arrow something like that okay now let's see if I have some okay uh, another adjustment is that I think the space the kerning here is not perfect so especially especially here and here so I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to cut this or copy I'm going to copy this And, the, and there, there is something here also with the M. So I'm going to maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I'm just going to do the E here. Okay, I'll just do the E. So I'm Control C and Control V immediately. And now I'm pressing F7 to get 50% opacity, so I can see what I'm doing and move tool V so now I can, I can see when I move it now with the move tool I can see also the underlying layer and I can adjust it vertically and I can adjust it so I don't do too much right and do a little and then I'm uh, restoring the opacity with F8 and then I'm 50% F7 F8 so I can I can um, adjust it and compare okay 50% restored something like that It's also helpful to zoom out with control minus now and then to to get a better feeling and I will actually do a little bit kerning here also with the, between the U and the T so I am Uh, now the question is I go solo by alt clicking that and so I have to merge these two first okay so I copy the title here I select both and then I do control alt E oh I should oh sorry now uh, control Z to undo and so I, I, I copied the title there, so I should just do a control E 
and merge them together and then I just rename it uh, since I have the the uh, uh, title already in my copy so so now they are at the same uh, layer both of them so now I can copy copy the T and E and the exclamation mark and paste it and I once again 50% opacity and V for move tool and uh, restore 100% 50%, 100%. Well, I think so. So zoom out a little. That's pretty okay. Okay, so then copy the title, select both layers, Control E, and then paste the title of the layer. Right. So something like that, and then okay. So now what we have, we want to select all of these guys. I'm saving it now also, and I want to move it a little bit because now okay let me show you with the selection here so my so now we have two ways of doing this I could either choose these letters or as the center uh, sent the, the centering of line one so that so that when I move the line two uh, control D to unselect and the V to the V for the move tool so so, so now I could choose to center it above these and that 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 could be all right because these are much more prominent than this one so if you're looking at a distance we could center everything like that and and uh, skip we can just skip that so as if it didn't exist so we center it around that that is a um, that is a plausible scenario and then we just add that on because that 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 will still give us give us the stability. However, my own my own uh, idea is that I will center it around. Well, let's let's make a before I decide. Let's make a um, let's make a test. Okay, let's let's move these as if we should include the hyphens. So that means that. If I now take the marquee tool, that well, in that case, we we are sort of going for 
oops, an area. Right, okay. Go an area that is approximately like that. So that's almost equal. Right, so so we could do that. And we, how that feels. And I actually think that I think both are okay, and it's only a matter of choosing one of them. So let's take this one. So let's let's go for this one, and now just finish up. So I'm going to select. All the, all the things on line one, and then I'm going to do a merge control alt E. And then I'm going to bring that layer up here and say line one. And then I'm going to take these guys here, everything else on line two here, and I do the same thing control alt E. And I, oops. Uh, inside there thank you line two not caps okay line one line two and then we are going to merge both of these guys control alt e and the name is lines one two two so if we hide all these guys and those guys, now we should have everything in one layer. Excellent, okay. All right, and now we can hide the, the guide and we can inspect can inspect for uh, dust particles and it looks very good looks good all right so we can just cut it all out like that copy and we now open the final pa finished panel document and we have the text folder already selected and we paste it and then we I'll just lines one to two from Assemble text, not downscaled. Okay, and now we just duplicate that. Lines one to two from mm, now it should be downscaled. That's our project now, and we're going to move it. Okie dokie, that's that. So we are updating. So now it's time to remove the old design here up. <clears throat> and we are going to results. We're going to rename this to page one panel A1. Sorry, page three should be three panel A1 and those are the old ones so we move them out but we will use uh, the names later on to copy 
and paste. So we we will remove these, but not not yet. Okay. So um, we have some. Okay. Okay, so these are special instructions for this. Some old stuff I did. Okay, rulers. Okay, in order to proceed, we want to. Um, I want to change the rulers up here. So I'm going to open up I'm going to open up the an old old panel to copy some uh, okay so so what I want is these ones up here if they are they are not the same right so I'm removing these uh, delete okay move tool select delete and now I'm duplicating from panel two duplicate into panel A3 no panel A A1 on page three like that and hopefully we got We didn't get it. Okay, maybe I screw up here. <laughs> All right, so duplicate to A1. Finish panel. There, there. Okay, good. And what we also want is to have a two-line balloon uh, guide and luckily we had exactly that here also so we're we also going to duplicate these layers here into three page three But this should be below here here okay good so these are the ones we need for now at least so I can we can save this window there okay so now let's look at uh, I'm usually starting with the frame always because we're, we need to have the frame in order and look so let's let's uh, okay, let's take away the text let's take away the balloon for now and just concentrate on the frame so this is the frame that we need to downscale and the question is just how big should it be well we have a our guides up here the row block so we know that we want to 
we want to have it exactly this height it's the same height all panels except uh, uh, some strange uh, super sized panels but 99% uh, of all panels in this album are the same height and this is the height the red the red rectangle so so my mission now is to downscale this frame which is now in the same format as I drew it on paper and now I'm so I'm holding shift down and doing a proportional proportional resizing until I hit this the right uh, height so let's make it bigger so I want to get the right height So have it like that perhaps. Commit. Okay, so we have a frame. And if we make it so low by uh, keeping Alt down and clicking on the visibility this is what what it is and I'm holding alt and clicking again on the same one and to restore all the layers um, so what we want to do now is I want to actually make a frame and that is simple I just I want white outside here and I want nothing inside here so the steps to do that is that okay I keep control down clicking on the white I have a layer here which is white background and now I'm doing oh oh I should have selected the wrong one there okay I do it again here those are the two layers I want to combine and I do a control alt E to create a new layer combining them into a new layer and okay so I have a white back I call it white back and then I also want to erase outside no erase inside like that erase inside like that and I do that by pressing N which I which is the magic eraser tool so so I create so when I look at this layer now solo with alt keep alt down click my layer looks like this so there's nothing in here so it's a frame okay so now my mistake was I didn't position the frame correctly right so that was my mistake I should have done that I should have looked at the old one should I look at the old one so okay so now I will move it only in the 
horizontal position move tool V okay so we have it's approximately there all right that's better now I take away the old one and but now control minus to for the scale as you can see if I take away the white I I I have nothing here so I don't want that so I, I do a new merge with the white and now I don't change anything because uh, so I do a well I can do that it doesn't matter control alt e frame B uh, a new white back or something like that so okay so that's the new one and remove those other layers and solo Uh, and we have to new, do a new erase in the middle layer also. Okay, so so new. Okay. All right. So we have that. So it seems to. So so when I take back the layers. Barry is positioned nicely. Okay, so now we're just going to add the. Let's see, we have all the frames going. We're going to remove the row block, or I usually call this the row rect nowadays. So I'm updating this now here. Yeah live okay so so row rect and the center is there but we don't care about that in this instance okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to start positioning the balloon okay and for that purpose um, we have the balloon so the balloon text is going to go like that and maybe even bigger scale here we can well no okay this is good enough i think all right so we have the text covers there and then we have um the left and the right of a of a, the balloon frame so the balloon frame is up here so what we want to do now is to once again look at the uh, we want to look at the design so what I did in my design was that I did a right a line here so Barry is speaking to the right so the balloon should be right aligned okay and here is the assembled text lines we can just save it and like that and on this text we can also just not even save it okay so this that so we have panel where did you go where are you I'm looking for my window <laughs> okay so we have that window there and 
are the whole I'm not sure I can't see my window um, interesting problem In behind here somewhere no um, it's, it's probably hidden there. Okay, good. Okie dokie. So we are here. Maybe we could increase the scale a little bit. Okay, so what we want now is we are going to right line it. So we're taking the, the right balloon outline and we're moving it so that the panel frame is like that. <clears throat> we can see this more clearly perhaps. Take the hand tool, pressing H. We see here, so we get a nice alignment here. And, and the left one we don't really care about so much. Because we don't know exactly how big it should be. So what we're doing is we're going simply by scale. So I'm going to show you that. So we're going to the balloon and we're showing it. And I'm pressing Alt and um, on the icon here, so it's big, alt click. So what we're going to do now is the move tool and we're going to make it smaller. Whoops, oh, wrong, wrong move. Sorry about that, sorry. Keep shift down and proportionally downsize it. Oops, that was not so good. Shift down and like that, temporary. And what we so, so we're going to we're looking for the right height once again. We're not looking for the right width. Well, we are, but. We don't have any measurement to do that. Okay. Maybe not so bad. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Maybe something like that. I think that's good enough. Right. So I commit by return and then I'm just moving it over here and I'm aligning it to the right to to the right so we, we're not interested in the left one I'm removing that so I'm aligning it to the right one to get this standardized space here all right and I'm committing it and so now that's done <clears throat> and now the only thing left is to uh, do the text which we also need to downscale and now we have the text coverage here uh, to our help so we will maybe do this in two so we select the text proportional downsize once more so we get in an approximate neighborhood here 
And then we can zoom in, control plus, control plus perhaps. Good. Hand tool. Oops, no. Uh, I haven't committed yet, so we can't do that. But So now the idea is that I want this line up here and this line down there to line up with the upper part here and the baseline down here. So, which is why I am doing this a little smaller. Something like that. Maybe something like that. And now, since I have and now I can also get back the okay, so let's let's commit it there. Should I? Okay, I think it's good enough. Maybe a little smaller. Actually. I think that's better. Okay, so commit. And now we are reinstating the left balloon outline. Ah, hand tool, like that, and we have that one selected, and move tool, and then shift right arrow, like that, to line up there, and now we're just confirming that our guidelines here actually look absolutely perfect. So, as you may remember from from the detailed rows document, we have these guidelines here to mark out where the text shall be and so and these fit perfectly with the text as it is right now and I didn't even do anything more than just downscaling straight off so there's no so I think that's a that's an achievement on its own here that we are uh, we can predict at the very early stage exactly how it looks like. Um, and then the trick, of course, is that I can I'm drawing the text in one scale and the balloon in another scale so I can't I can't easily see in advance that they will fit so if, if I hadn't had this um, uh, engineering kind of approach I, I, it would be much harder to to get the exact uh, finished artwork to to line up and, and to f really fit together. So that thing, th as I'm very happy with, with that. Okay, so now the position seems good and we are now on taking away those layers and we are looking at um, 
this design here. So, so the next thing to do then is that we are taking the balloon and the text and we are merging them into a new layer. And we're putting that in a folder of its own. So we're creating a new folder called merged text and balloon like that and then we just merge text and balloon and we'll put it into the folder there and now we can ah now we can have everything there And the last thing we are going to do now is we are going to look at the we are going to remove the old balloon text and the old frame by hitting the delete button and we are also going to look at the colors we are going to look at the colors and now you see here that I made a mistake here I forgot to um, erase the outside of the but let's, let's do that quickly I hit N on the keyboard and I get the um, erase tool and I just click there and I get we get the right balloon and now I just add the uh, the mix of colors and special effects and now everything is as it should be I think all right so now we just highlight the frame we do a, a shift control alt e to produce a new layer uh, we hit in results and we um, name that mix colors instead mix colors And then we go back again to frame. We just put the layer there. Any layer that is part of part of the total image, and then we uh, hide the effects, and we, we use that layer as well to. We'll make another one here panel base colors base colors and then our last one is just in black and white so we remove the colors and now we get the shift control alt e again to get the black and white result here uh, black and white okay so the old one was that and the new one was this and we re remove all these old ones move tool and delete button okay so that's I think that's basically it and the results are black and white flat 
<clears throat> base colors and the final result for the comic album. Okay, I think that's um, a pretty good session and we can uh, maybe re remember to look for in the not not the near future but um, in 2019 at least we hope um, this will be produced and ready for print so 987 degrees centigrade and it's unlimited danger season one science fiction action thriller lots of exciting things so before you before you uh, uh, drop this uh, video please take a moment to uh, comment or ask questions or uh, like and subscribe and all that it, it would be very nice thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day <laughs>